I'm a little <laughs> nervous. Uh, we're talking about letters from Cuba, right? No, Lucky Broken no. Girl. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen. Oh, no. I have it next to me, but I've not reviewed it. Well, I kind of think you're going to win this round. <laughs> well, it is your life, Ruth. So maybe you have a little like a Maybe I have some <laughs> recollection in parts of it. Some of it may come back to you yeah. as we go on. But I mean... Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'll do a quick <laughs> intro, and and That's then so um, we'll take turns asking questions. That sounds good. You guys that feel ready? Good. Are you ready, okay. Annika? Yes. yes I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another edition of Author Fan Face Off. We get together one great author, one great reader. We pick a book by that author, and we see who knows more. I'm Steve Schenken, and of course, you know, my co-host is the Leaping Librarian, Stacey Ratner. Woo! And today we're featuring a wonderful book, Lucky Broken Girl by Ruth Behar. And welcome to the show, Ruth. Thank you. It's great to be here. Awesome to have you here. I mean, this I've read some interviews with you, and of course, this book is, is based on events from your life, though so it's, it's novel. But it also sounds like it took you a long time to decide to tell this story. Is that right? That is true. It took most of my life to decide mm. to tell this story. Um, sometimes you have these stories that you carry around for a long time and then finally decide to put it down on paper. And that's that's what happened with this one. Great. Well, I know our challenger today is a fan of yours and of this book. So Stacy, do the honors. All right. I'm so excited to introduce Annika, a fifth grader from Virginia. Yay! Yay. <laughs> and Ruth visited her school last year because she has an amazing school librarian who coordinated that. So shout out to her. Um, Annika loves art so much that she is going to be free to Kahlo for her Halloween. And she also painted and constructed a body cast for Ruth's visit. Do you want to show us? Sure. Um, I made it on my own body. Um, it hurt. <laughs> so I don't know how you did it for 10 months, but it, um, yeah, I painted it afterward, just like you said Chicho had with the hummingbirds, butterflies and flowers down at the bottom. So that's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. 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 It's, amazing. It's I'm glad you still have that to share with us. Yes. So yes. I feel like Ruth, uh, you have a big fan challenger on your hands here and I wish you the best of luck. I think so. Let me show you what I brought for good luck. Oh, <laughs> I got Frida Kahlo on my necklace. Maybe she will help. <laughs> But we're ready to get started. Annika, are you ready, Ruth? Okay. Yeah, it is to be. <laughs> <laughs> at school, at PS117, Ruth's friend Ramu shares this food from his lunchbox. A samosa. Yes. That was nice. right at the, easy. All right, Ruth. Ru Ramu spells this word to prove he belongs in the smart fifth grade class. I believe it is souvenir. Yes, one all. Oh my that god, that was a hard one right off the bat. Yeah. That was a hard one, yeah. <laughs> especially because I haven't reviewed the book. <laughs> we often find that to be the case that the the fan has read it much more recently than the author, um, which seems to be true. Annika, what country is Ruth's friend Danielle from? She's from Belgium. Correct. And Ruth, aside from English, Ruth's grandparents mix Spanish with this language when they talk. Yiddish. Yiddish, correct. All right. All right, Annika. Ruth's tutor brings her a pile of books in this detective series. Nancy Drew. Mm. Okay. Ruth. Ruth's tutor tells Ruth to call her by her first name, Joy. What is her last name? Oh. <laughs> well, 
that's not my question. <laughs> and then, can I look it up? <laughs> Joy. Hmm. I don't remember that. I, uh, yeah. And Annika, no? No clue. Oh, Hoffman. <gasps> Oh my! <laughs> yeah. This is what happens when you Sometimes don't need questions. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I would have gotten that. That's a very tough oh, one. Okay. That's and, a tough one. And we were looking for stuff that that appeared once or twice that that either you know either of you may not know. Mm. Um, Monica, I'm going to ask you one. I just had to ask this. <laughs> what drink does Ruth's grandfather think will help her when she's you know a little constipated? Prune juice. Uh, prune juice. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, my Bubby was a big fan of prune juice as well. And I uh, always had it. And then, and unlike you, I, or at least the Ruth character, I enjoyed it. I would try to sneak some, you know, and she would say, that's my prune juice. She didn't want me taking her prune juice. Yeah, I, I didn't feel that way. That part is oh. true. And I, I did not feel that way I about it. It's powerful stuff. Okay, Ruth, in what years... Two years are mentioned. It's, uh, um, what years did the story take place in? So it begins in one year and into the following year. Yeah, it begins in 1966 and ends in 1967. Correct. And we knew that Annika <laughs> knew that question because she said it earlier. So she kind of <laughs> gave it a... <laughs> I'm so Spoiler. scared now of the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Annika, Ruth becomes interested in this Mexican painter who was also in a terrible accident. Piccolo. <laughs> <laughs> we wrote I'm the questions sure. before we knew about you. So. I was waiting for you to finish the question to I answer. Know. But <laughs> I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> and Ruth, what is the name Ruth's of Ruth's favorite beach in Cuba. Oh, I oh my! I think it's Playa Baquita, the little little cow beach. Yes, yes, <laughs> perfect. Oh my! Very good. I mean, you've both done really well. We have this bonus <laughs> question, so it could still swing the outcome one way or the other. Ooh. And um, either of you could answer it. The Ruth often, a couple times in the book, quotes from a song called "These Boots Are Made oh. for Walking." Remember that, Annika? So I'm just going to give you the couple lyrics, and I want you to, to finish the chorus for me. Okay. Boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you. Wow. No <laughs> I don't know. I thought you might sing it, Steve and Annika. But... <laughs> we still can. <laughs> that would be bonus points, yeah. You might add it to the uh, video, yeah. Wow, awesome job. That's so amazing. good. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Really, really good. Well, Annika, you win. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling we could have kept going for a while and not stumped Annika on this. Book. Yeah. How many times now, hey, go have ahead. you read it? Me? Yeah. I think twice. Okay, but you have a good memory, obviously. I read it a week ago. Okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just couldn't forget that story. Uh, <laughs> should we sing Not so it's Are Made for Walking just to be sure we've got the tune down? Right. <laughs> no. You and I, Annika, do you want to? Um, sure. Okay. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> okay. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots are going to walk all over you. We've had dancing, but I don't think we've ever had singing on our show before. I'm sure we haven't had dancing, but not singing. Man.